something extra. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need approximately 80 diapers. I use size three or size two, uh, two paper towel rolls, uh, measuring tape, and large pieces of cardboard. They're gonna have to equal 49 inches long. Um, I found these at the dollar store, these two tiaras, but you could also use a regular one, also probably available at the dollar store. Uh, some of these clips, scissors, oops, scissors, tape, and rubber bands, flowers, two receiving blankets, and all different kinds of ribbon, including curling ribbon. For the bottom of your carriage, you're going to make four wheels. They're approximately 10 diapers each. In between to hold them, your axles are going to be the paper towel rolls with the diaper inside. I wrapped uh, wrapping paper around it so that they look pretty. Um, around each one, I wrapped the curling ribbon so that it looks like spokes because it is a carriage. And then you're going to put your four wheels together and you've gotten your project started. Now the base of your princess carriage is going to be the same base as the baby carriage. You're going to have approximately 30 diapers long uh, and I rubber band them in packs and then you're going to put diapers around and I used ribbon because I didn't have a rubber band big enough and then you're going to wrap that like a package as tight as you can and then you're going to flip it over. And then I'm gonna hold, it's not big enough to fit all the way around, so I'm gonna hold it on with this ribbon. Uh, as you can see, I already glued on the letters, and this is for little baby Lily. just to show you what to do. This is really gonna be 49 inches long or somewhere between 45 and 49. Mine are exactly 49. And don't worry, you're not gonna see this. You're gonna wrap this up, but you're gonna tape every few inches until you have the whole strip. I'm gonna show you that. After you have your strip all cut out and taped together like that, I wrap them in wrapping paper and I use hologram wrapping paper because I'm going to add the light effect. So I want it to bounce around inside there. You can use pink or another color, but if you can find a metallic or something shiny and reflective, it's going to look even two better. Supports, they're extra sturdy because you have two pieces of cardboard, but you're going to have to bend them a little bit to get the shape that you want. And then you're going to tuck them in diagonally since your body has an oval shape, you're going to put them in what would be the corners until they get all the way down and you're going to put one over the other and just tuck it in between the center and the outside blanket and then I'm going to tape them together so that they stay nice and even and then I'm going to add my lights on the inside mostly in the back um, and on the top and this you can get at any craft store mostly in the floral department so you're going to start out with your light and make sure your light is in the back where it can be tucked and hidden and then you can go up along the side and tape your lights on the inside
your cover, you're going to take your receiving blanket and what I did was I folded it over a few times and then right in the center I put one of these butterfly pins clips and that's going to be in the center right here so that it could be draped over. Now you're going to have to play with it a little bit to get it the way that you want. So I wanted it to be draped a little bit like curtains so that it's kind of a peekaboo in the front. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put some more clips on it and then I'm going to come back. All right, so I pinned the front. I pinned the other sides uh, with the clips on the inside. And now I'm just going to tuck the back all around, uh, covering as much as possible so that the light stays in there from your light feature. But you're going to make sure this is sticking out so that you can use it. And that's all tucked in. So I picked up two of these tiaras. They're actually meant to go into one end into the other, but I decided that I want it to be bigger. So I got two, and this way they're gonna go right on top and you can pin them or tape them. They probably stay better with pins. And this way, that's gonna go right on top. Because right now we're just doing accessories. I also have some uh, pearls on a string, and this is wired. So this I'm just going to drape along the front just as an accessory, just to make it pretty. To hide this clip here, I have a rose and a bow, so I'm going to attach that. And I'm going to add our little teddy bear princess. If you have a little plush princess, she would be perfect to go inside. I did not, so I dressed up Teddy from my previous video. And this time I gave Teddy a pretty little dress and I made her a little crown with some rhinestones and actually a hole punch in paper. And she is going to sit right in the center. I'm going to fix her little crown. Come here, good Teddy. And I'm going to give her a little flower. Ta da! Oh, she messed up my flower.